hey guys so welcome and welcome back to this channel and to the new subscribers i guess you are 50 or 50 something thank you and thank you so much for joining the family for subscribing thank you so much i'm so grateful and to those who have not yet subscribed take this opportunity to to click on that subscription button please 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 i'm so grateful once more so grateful for those who have subscribed and those who are watching my videos those who continue watching those who are always here thank you and thank you so much so in today's video we are going to do a little bit of makeover in the kitchen so these are the things that i'll have to change so number one thing that i'd like to change is this curtain i do feel it is too busy and my walls are busy as well so i would like to change it to something else and carry interior has an idea of what to do so we let her do her thing as usual then i would also like to change this dish rack to the over the sink one so let's unbox this together yeah so this is how it comes packed in this box like yeah so let's open it and see what's inside came with a manual this is so good there is no much thinking like in the case of the table that was so good of them they packed it with the manual <laughs> is everything that was in the box so it's time to figure out how to fix it so i guess this one is for holding the spoons just guess then these metallic racks i think i'll figure out what they are for after i've finished combining it or assembling it so I'll just go through the manual to at least have a hint on where to start from. Yay. So let's start assembling it. So I won't talk much. Hope you'll be able to follow what I'm doing. And I'll try as much as possible not to fast forward it so that you can follow it step by step. So let's do this. <laughs> Just know how it feels when we're falling in love Say what you wanna say to me now I wanna wake up with you in the morning Show me the other 
fake to you now I wanna wake up with you in the morning Say what you wanna say to me now I wanna wake up with you in the morning Something that's been fake to you now I wanna wake up with you in the morning But we can, we can do nothing, do nothing at all So what, so what If you're stupid then you know it's nothing wrong But you and me got a hold forget the rods are in two sizes two are thin two are thicker so for the thin ones have the one used to make the frame like the one i've started with so with the thin rods you're going to use the short screws the screws are also into two sizes they are the short ones and the long ones so the long ones are used where the holes are two and where the holes are too, you're going to use the thicker rod. So for this one that I'm tying at the moment is a thin rod. So I'm going to use the short screw as well. So you take note of that so that you don't tie it, finish it, then you start removing. It has to go that way. So it also comes with that thing that you use to tighten it. I think it acts as a screwdriver for it yeah so far this is what we have made yeah this is what you have made you have put the two stands and one rod one thin rod so this is how it looks like so the other thin rod you put it down there just below the other one you'll just see the space where it is supposed to go in so on that side we use the thin rods at the back both are the thin rods and you use them with the short screw yeah so let's fix the second one <laughs> Another thing to note is 
when you are tying these screws don't tie it to the latter as in usifunge hadi mwisho because when you want to insert those two rods of the front they won't go in they won't fit because it's like it will be squeezed i don't know if you get what i'm saying don't funga it hadi mwisho it will make it tight it won't be flexible enough for these other rods to go in so just tie it a little bit don't take it completely so the fixing it completely you will do it after you have put all the rods so you see like when you want to put this one it won't fit if you have tightened the other rods so to avoid putting it and removing it just don't tie the screws up to the end these ones won't fit i hope you can see they're not fitting because i've actually tied it tightly so i will have to loosen them so that these front rods can go in so to avoid loosening loosening after tightening you better don't tighten it to the end so as to make it flexible enough for these other rods to fit time to put the front ones so this front one is thick so for the thick rods you use two screws as you can see and the two screws are long screws you use the long thin screws the two of them so like i had mentioned don't tie them don't fix them up to the end you leave it some space like that so that it is flexible enough to be moved Yes, yeah, so you'll notice the back ones are the thinner ones and I've used one screw for, for each of them. Then for the front ones I've used two screws. Yeah, like that. Yeah, so so far I've managed to make the frames and that's how it looks like. So it is time to put these racks to their position. So for the racks you just place them I think you can use whichever organization you want. Like for this is for the smaller plates. You can decide to put it first or last. Yeah, so just put it just like that. Then the second one is now for the big plates. Just put it on top of it like that. There is no much energy needed to put it there. Yeah, then the last one is for the cups. Yeah, this one. So you can decide how to arrange them. You can start with the cup, start with the plate one, whichever you decide to start with. So this is how they look like. Now this one is for placing the soap and the, and the, what you use to wash the dishes, super bright or whatever you use. They are placed there. Then this one is for the spoons. You also just hang it there just like that so this is what we have this is how it looks like and on to the last one this one is used for putting the chopping board yeah just put it there like that yeah so you realize it will also come with these plastic things they are used as end caps for covering these spaces just like that yeah so there are six of them so the holes are six so just press them inside like that it is not difficult to do it yeah, just like that as simple as that finally 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 let's arrange it and see how it looks like let's put the plates on top and see how it looks like <laughs> okay, 
Ta-da! So this is how it looks like. Uh -huh. So this is the final look. Yay! The details. Yeah, those are the details. Uh -huh. This is how it looks like. Actually, I'm so excited about it. It looks neat and beautiful. So tell me in the comment section, what do you think about this rack? Is it worth it or not? For me, I think I love it. I give it a 10 out of 10. Then it saves space. My kitchen top has, has more space than when I was using the other rack. Just see the space. It has made my kitchen top so spacious. I love this. I love this. I can recommend it. And finally, at Kerry Interior Aqua Ground, there she is changing the curtains. So she's changing the curtain to a plain color because the wall is actually too, 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 too busy. Yeah, that is scary. I will tag her. I will put her number somewhere here. So she's changing the curtains to white. I think white will be better than the orange one. When you consider the walls, the tiles that were used on the walls. Yeah. So let's see how it turns out. You know, you